Join us for lively discussion about the A-State community. Each week, we'll meet with a variety of faculty, staff, and students to discuss all things Arkansas State University. Live from the ASU TV studios in the School of Media and Journalism, this is A-State Connections. This is A-State Connections on KASU and ASU-TV. I'm Jonathan Reeves, News Director with KASU Public Radio and the host of A-State Connections, the radio show on KASU. ASU-TV has another fantastic show that's designed to inform you about what's going on and taking place at Arkansas State and throughout the region. The show is called You, Me, and the Community. And telling us more about this is host of the show, Candace Evans. Evans is Senior Career Advisor at the NYIT College of Osteopathic Medicine at Arkansas State University. And Instructor of Creative Media Production, Dustin Sullivan, is with us as well. Thank you both for joining us. Welcome to A-State Connections. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So I am really excited about this new show on ASU TV. Uh, Dustin, tell us about how the idea for the show got started. So it is a revival. Uh, there were students you know, several years ago that did the show called You, Me, and the Community. And um, when we were thinking about, you know, with me teaching the other section of video production one, what show can we incorporate into the course similar to what A-State Connections is doing for uh, Mr. Perkins' show? And we thought, what no better way than reviving a show that had a, had a lasting image on ASU TV than you, me, and the community and start reaching out to members of the public to, uh, to come and uh, have a conversation with Candace. So it was one of those things that, you know, it was kind of going along, and then as many things happened, COVID kind of stopped yes. a lot of that stuff. Exactly. So now it's a re, uh, you know, just kind of bringing things back. Candace, uh, tell us about the premise of the show, if you don't mind, please. For sure. So I had the opportunity to sit down with wonderful members in the community and talk about what's going on um, and – I think when Dustin asked me, it was like a for sure yes, <laughs> simply because I enjoy having conversations with individuals in the community. I always try to connect pieces, um, especially working with students, um, to see what they can get involved in in the community um, and just more so being the know about what's happening in Jonesboro. There is a lot of stuff that's taking <laughs> place right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things. Yeah. So I want to ask you about, uh, I know that you already had one show, that couple one. of shows, is that, that right? One. One, yep. uh, I got a chance to watch it. Congratulations, great show, Thank you. by the way. Uh, tell us about what y'all are working on in future episodes. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll break some of the secrets. I do know that current contact now with the uh, the director of communications at City of Jonesboro. We are working on uh, confirming Mayor Harold Copenhaver to come on the show and talk about the relationship that he is growing between the City of Jonesboro and Arkansas State University because I think he really prides himself. On, on continuing to build the relationship between the two to make sure that students are aware there are things that are going on outside the campus that they can be involved in within the city of Jonesboro. Um, I have a, a you know, personal, you know, somewhat of personal connection with my daughters involved in the Foundation of Arts here in Jonesboro. We're going to have uh, representatives from them as well, along with the parks and recreation within the city of Jonesboro as well. Um, I have both my daughters that play soccer and have played softball before there. And it, it's just a way to, to inform not only the campus, but like you said, the community as well about everything that's going on within the city of Jonesboro that people on campus and off campus can get involved in. Candace, what do you like most about the, 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 the show and the host of, uh, or being the, the host of the show? What do you like most about that? Having the ability to talk to people, I enjoy good conversations. Um, and then of course, I'm a mother as well. I work on campus, I interact with a lot of people in many different realms. So from the service aspect um, to working with students, working with little humans, um, my little humans also play soccer, do basketball. Um, so really connecting those pieces because one of the things that I do remember being a student here at A-State, A-State was a totally separate world from Jonesboro, right? So the beauty of this show is we get to connect the two. So for those students who may look to stay around this area for a while, they have the opportunity to see there's other things going on outside of the campus life. Yeah, I think one of the things that is a shame is when you have people who are here and then they leave here and they may yeah. not even realize what all Jonesboro oh, has yeah. to exactly. offer. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll I admit agree. I was probably one of those as a student here. Yeah. 
Me really, too. really kind of confined myself to the campus for a few years. But um, like I said, with, with, even with Parks and Rec, one of the things that I got involved in as a student here was being a, a soccer official. And it really opened my eyes to what was all around town to the point where I, I went from recreational all the way into the high school uh, area and getting to know all the local high schools in, in the Jonesboro and in the region as well. Right. What excites you most about the show? Dustin, I'll start with you, and then Candace, I'll get over to you. It's giving the students the opportunity to work on a live television production. There's nothing like it. Yeah. It's, it is all the hands-on opportunities, anywhere from camera operation to floor direct to – I even had them in the beginning give me suggestions of, of people within the community they thought would be great for the show – and we're taking some of those suggestions. And then everybody, you know, all the elements in the control room from, you know, technical director to graphics, it's all student-based. And they all get that opportunity. And they get to use this to put on their professional portfolios down the road. Said, I've worked on live productions all the way from, you know, some of these are freshman, sophomore level students. They didn't have to wait two, three years to get involved with ASU TV. They're involved from the very beginning of their time here at A-State. Right, Candace? Yes, I have to agree. I didn't even think about that perspective for the students. Um, I did ask Dustin, I'm like, dude, I put, I remember advising students and they were freshmen and they mm -hmm. have the opportunity to come in and see a live show. So mm -hmm. that just attests to how wonderful, of course, our program is um, in the School of Media and Journalism that all of our students are getting that hands-on experience. Um, but again, I think also highlighting things that are going on. Mm -hmm. um, again, I love sitting down, having good conversations. The guests that we do have lined up for the spring are going to be phenomenal. Um, I think this week when we're shooting, um, Adrian Everett from the yes. Multicultural Center will be sitting down to talk to me about what's going on with Black History Month. Mm -hmm. So the Multicultural Center has partnered with different businesses and, and different entities that are in the Jonesboro area. Um, and we're going to be able to highlight that because some students, people might not even know that, uh, well, more so what's all taking place this month for Black History. So we have wonderful guests lined up that are going to be able to educate not only the students, but the community. And the connections that the Multicultural Center, the community, and all that have together, because it, it seems to me that the university just cannot really work by itself in its own silo. Right. Exactly. You've right. got to have those partnerships with those mm -hmm. in the community to make it work. Yes, sir. Exactly. Absolutely. And I know that's kind of what this will do as well. Like, for example, you have public-private partnerships with Black History Month that, that's going on, businesses, uh, KLEK, I think about that yeah. as well. Uh, the, the great folks over there, Mr. Leganzi, uh, oh, who yes. does a great job. So it, it, it seems to me it's kind of like bridging you know, gap. you know, bridging yeah. some of those gaps. For sure. Why is this important? I, I just, like I said, I think there's been a, a gap for too long yeah. between the campus and the community as a whole. I and mean, I think you've got an administration and other people in place that want to build the bond mm -hmm. where students, faculty, and staff on this campus get involved in the community and vice versa. Yeah. People in the community get involved with campus right. as well. And, right. and I think that's what the combination of this show, A-State Connections and You, Me, and the Community, it just makes perfect sense to have both of them. You have one that gives you all the information and the talk about everything going on campus on this one, and then You, Me, and the Community reaches beyond the campus to let people know what's going on uh, in the Jonesboro and surrounding area. Right. So, Candace, tell us a bit about yourself. You're the host of the show, and I, I know that you love Arkansas State University. Uh, your family's here locally, and that. kind of tell us about yourself. Yeah, so I am an alum of Arkansas State University. Right. I'm actually from Hot Springs, and I came up here specifically for the radio television program. Um, I remember, like it was yesterday, coming to this campus and immediately feeling like I belonged here. Um, so, after college... I got my master's on the communication side, and then I started teaching, and then um, I advised here, but I had the opportunity to get my family involved. Like you said, my, my children are here. They're very active. I'm also active with our local NAACP chapter, also my sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Um, so there's just a lot of good stuff going on in the community. And like I said, when Dustin asked me to do it, I'm like, of course, to sit down and be able to, you know, highlight the good things that are going on in Jonesboro. Because, again, as a student, 
I was here, you know, I didn't know what I would do after college, but again, bridging those gaps to let students know that there are mm -hmm. great things going on here yeah. in Jonesboro. Yeah. The community's growing. Um, there's a lot of different businesses, a lot of different things coming, and it's an exciting time, my personal opinion, in the city of Jonesboro. And I, I know that when the show came together, you all were probably, you know, kind of talking about who's going to host the show, and I hear your name came up, like, there at the top, like, First. immediately. It's funny, we were probably having the conversation while ASU TV was showing sort of a throwback show, and Candace was on it, and we're like, <laughs> She's right there. <laughs> Just go and ask her. And that's what I did. Yeah. And, and, and immediately she's like, absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's meet. And it just, it made perfect sense. And she does a fantastic job talking with our guests, making them comfortable on the set. And it, it's just a, it's a fun show to put together and produce. Very good. We're going to talk more about that show coming up here in just a little bit as we're going to continue our conversation about the show, you, me, and the community here at Arkansas State University on KASU as we're talking with Dustin Sullivan and also with Candace Evans. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have more coming up right after this. ASU TV, shows like Red Wolf Roundtable, ASU TV News, Westside Football, and more. Gain real life experience while doing what you love. Get involved with ASU TV today. Red Wolf Radio is a student-led organization at Arkansas State University wanting to hear your takes on pop culture, music, the news, and college life. Just about anything you can think of. Located in the Education and Communications Building on campus, we are always looking for more volunteers. So if you're an Arkansas State University student, no matter the major, and this is something that interests you, shoot us an email at redwolfradio at astate.edu. That's redwolfradio at astate.edu. Let them hear you how. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A-State Maine. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. Live from the ASU TV studios in the School of Media and Journalism, this is A-State Connections. And welcome back to A-State Connections on KASU and ASU TV. We're continuing our conversation about a new show on ASU TV that's called You, Me, and the Community. And joining me today is the host of the show, Candace Evans, and also we're talking to creative media production instructor, Dustin Sullivan. I once again appreciate you all so much about this. And what I really like about this, Dustin, is it's original programming. Yes on here yeah. and the value of being able to have original programming. Yeah. I mean, you're getting to a point on ASU TV where you're starting to see the same programming every week and it's original. And it, the, I mean, when I say that, it's the same shows. We've gotten back from, you know, not getting to do a lot of, of productions because of COVID-19 to a point where you're seeing three to four new shows every week on ASU TV, including A-State Connections, You, Me, and the Community, Red Wolf Roundtable, so many other ones, and so many new ones as well coming down the pipeline as well. It's, it's, it's a fantastic time for ASU TV. It, well, and it's just a fun time because, as, you, as we said, we were talking off, off uh, during the break, Candace. Every it, it's back to busy time now. Yeah, Everything sure. is going back again. Yeah. And I think that's good for the show, for you, me, and the community, because mm -hmm. it is a lot of things that are going on. Um, with my different organizations that I'm involved in, we're back at the drawing table. Like, we did this before COVID, you know, what can we do now? So having that space for different individuals to come on, to talk about what's going on in the community, um, to, again, get everyone involved, and also more students. I think that's important yeah. because it's so much Jonesboro has to offer to anyone. Yes, I think it's a family town, but students that are looking to stay in this area, I feel like they they should be exposed to all the good stuff that's going on around town. So what are some of the things you all are doing to make sure that students know about this and trying to get you know more student involvement in, in areas? What are you all working on? 
to be able to do that. I would say for, for the show specifically, they can contact myself or Candace. Um, the show also is available you know, on demand on, on ASU TV's website and on social media, on YouTube. Same as A-State Connections as yeah. well. It's not just like a one-time live thing. They can go back and see all these, and then if there's any, you know, I'll make my pitch now. You know, if there's anybody that's interested in coming on you, me, and the community to talk about their involvement in the community and wanting to be involved with the A-State campus, reach out to us. We'd love to have you on the show, whether it be this semester or other semesters down the road, because this is not stopping. This is something that's going to last a very long time. Yeah, and that's what I'm really excited about this particular uh, show and others is that these are just seasons, basically. You've yes. got the fall season yes. and the spring season. Yes, yes. <laughs> and there's shows that. that the content never dies. These shows can re-air over and over and over on ASU TV, and it's still informative Yeah. to, to what is happening right now on a state campus and in the community all right exactly so one of the things oh, tell us about for people who are would love to see it live when is it oh, when are when's the show live we are live on thursday mornings at 10 30 or are we at 10 10 10 yeah <laughs> i, yes. so I had to think what time i had yeah, to be here same. right yeah we're live at 10 a.m on asu tv on the cable channel and also on our youtube channel asu tv and on our Facebook page as well. On the and we share it not only on the ASU TV Facebook, but we also cross post it to the Creative Media Production and the School of Media Journalism Facebook pages as well. So it, it reaches a, a fairly good audience. And for people who are watching the show and they say, you know what, we've got a story to tell. We would love to be able to be on the show. I know you all be open to, to those oh, too, yeah. right? Absolutely. Um, my email is dsullivan at astate.edu. And like I said, there's also a link. Uh, I'll provide my email on the show's website as well. If they need to contact us, if uh, they're interested in coming on and having a chat with Candace. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I like to talk. So yeah. it's nothing, you know, just to talk. Again, I, I love the Jonesboro community. Mm -hmm. I love A State, right. you know, so yeah. being able to connect the two. What better space to do it? Yeah. Right, exactly. And w when we're, we're talking about this production of You, Me, the Community, we're talking about uh, getting students on, being able, like the students are running this mm -hmm. here. One of the things that's so valuable is that this is just, for some, maybe an open door for what other opportunities that there yes. may be within the different programs that are here at Arkansas State. Mm -hmm. So not only does this talk about the community, but in, in, I guess in an indirect way, it's a way of showing the community what a state is doing. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I, I think, you know, letting the public know, and, that, and that's so important to why we, you know, we have ASU TV on cable channel in Jonesboro and the surrounding area so that people can see mm -hmm. all these shows and know what's going on in the campus. And then a show like you mean the community that maybe lets them know what's going on off of campus as well. What I like about this, just to let people know a little bit of uh, behind the scenes mm -hmm. of, of what this is, in this particular class, we have students who are working, and but the class is kind of split in half by way of different Correct. weeks. Correct. So you're rotating students around. How does that work? <laughs> um, you, you put them in teams. Uh, I think each, you know, between myself and Mr. Perkins, we kind of do it a different way. Uh, I think the fortunate thing for me is, uh, you know, the couple of years I've been here, I've had some of these students already in classes, so I kind of know their background. I know what their strengths and their weaknesses are, and I'm going to play to their strengths in terms of production. And if there's, you know, some of them that maybe don't have a whole lot of experience, we're going to start them out, you know, in some of the basic areas and build them up. So maybe by the end of the semester, they're going to be ones uh, sitting at the technical director seat, pushing all the buttons, making all the decisions on who, you know, whose face are you seeing at a very specific time. Right. Candace, I, th I think your story is great in that you're from Hot Springs and you decided out of all the places to go, you wanted to come to Arkansas State. Why? Yeah, so, um, and I have to talk about my mother. She was very adamant about us going to college. So we went on college hops. Um, I visited a number. I think every school here in Arkansas I had the opportunity to visit. Um, but when, when we came up here, our tour guide, it was wonderful. They just highlight the program actually it, it started there was a college fair and um, there was a recruiter 
there. I never heard of Jonesboro. I never heard of Arkansas State University. Um, and everyone in my church told me I needed to be on TV, right? Because I did our church announcement. So they're like, you speak well, you know, go be on television. Sure. So my mother started doing research and we saw the recruiter. So she said, let's take the three hour drive to Jonesboro, Arkansas. And we're going to visit the campus. Um, and I had the opportunity to visit campus and then the department as well. And what was a selling piece was that I got the hands-on experience that's still taking place today. So I had the opportunity to come through as a freshman um, and begin, my class was audio video production. Mm. So I had the opportunity to pull the cord, um, work cameras, just be in this wonderful space that's of course still here. Um, but that was the major selling point was I got hands-on experience and it was the best program. So the other programs that we did look at, we didn't get hands-on experience until our junior or senior year. Um, and we were told that I could build my, my highlight reel from my freshman year. So that was that was really big for me. Not the set you could, but you were expected to. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you were oh, yeah. expected it, to. It was built in the curriculum, right? So <laughs> right. um and then the wonderful professors, it's literally like a family. So um the same in some of the same individuals that saw me as a freshman, <laughs> they see me now, yeah. you know, working um in the department. So I love it. Yeah, and so I imagine with that being an academic and career advisor, you know, that was probably an easy thing for you to be able to oh, then yeah be able to help by way of maybe attracting students or recruiting or whatever, being able to say, this is my story, this can be your story. Oh, absolutely. And I had, you know, I talked about it from firsthand experience. Dustin and I both can, you know, talk to any student about our experience in the program because it's not just something we're going to talk about and say, oh, it's great, come here. But no, we had the opportunity to do it. You know, I, I just chose to do something different of um, another aspect of communication. But the program is phenomenal. And I think that our students being able to work in a class on live shows that are running and they're doing all the work, I think it's wonderful, wonderful experience. Yeah, but it, you said it's a different part of communication. But the communication, though, has just expanded out oh, yes. so much yes. now that there are so many different areas to be able to, to do that. What I have told students, and Dustin, I know that you'll say this too. I know we've been kind of getting off topic from what we were talking about originally. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a good point is um, while students are in, do everything. Exactly. Learn everything. Sure. Get involved from day one. Yeah. Involvement from day yeah. one. And I, and I was the same way. And uh, Candace and I had this conversation, we, and we've talked about this before, but I think it's funny how we may not have known each other personally. We actually remembered times working together as students on crews um, for you know sports productions through through Colin Pillow, who was my mentor and, and one that I learned a lot of my talent from. Right. Um, and and I think you know she pointed out she goes I could have sworn we worked together on production. I was like we probably have. Yeah. And, and it's just great to to still have that on sure. this campus that students you know, can build that bond with others by just working productions. It's just such a cool thing. And and just to have that experience from day one, I know freshmen that have come banging on my door saying, I want to do something. Yeah. I said, okay. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's get you on air. Well, it's, because to me, working production, being on air is better than sitting in any classroom, oh, yeah. reading a textbook, yeah. learning sure. how to do this. Yeah. You're not going to get the experience doing that. Right. That's how I was taught, and that was my goal and my mission coming in as a, as a full-time faculty member, was to teach the same way, hands-on. So students can work on shows like you, me, and the community. Exactly. Yep. And you want them to do that. Yes. To be able to get on, exactly. involved in that. And I know that you enjoy working with students, Candace. Oh, yeah. And, and all that. That's kind of your passion yeah, of working sure. with students. Yeah, so I, I have the opportunity to work with students from all different areas um, mm -hmm. For years, I worked specifically with our media and comm students. I mentor Nettleton Junior High, so I'm always putting the plug in for A-State because I think it's a wonderful place. Um, I also get to, man, talk to a lot of different people. Um, but like you said, I love working with students simply because um, they desire to do something. And I've been blessed to experience some different things, you know, on campus and in the community. So being able to talk to different points and help encourage them along the way because I had great mentors, great faculty and staff that were around me, and I want to give the same thing. Very good. It's all paying it forward. Exactly. Is, is what it is. It is. Exactly. Yes, Very good. Dustin Sullivan, thank you. Thanks uh, for having us. Hope and to see everybody watch 
You mean the community, Thursdays at 10 o'clock on ASUT. Thursdays at 10, there you go. And so be looking forward to uh, some of those fantastic guests. Uh, and Matt, Candace, thank you so much, and great job. That's a great choice to have Candace on the show. Number one pick. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so Candace, great job, and thank you for being here as well. Absolutely. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank All you. right, so that'll do it for this edition of A-State Connections. Of course, thanks to Candace Evans and Dustin Sullivan. Also want to thank instructor of creative media production, Galen Perkins, and his awesome students, who behind the scenes running the show. Thanks to engineers Derek Herring and Clayton Holderfield for their help as well. And as always, thank you for watching. And don't forget that A-State Connections is heard every Saturday morning at 11 on 91.9 FM KASU and streaming on the KASU mobile app. And I'll see you right here on Wednesday at 1.30 for another edition of A-State Connections. It's double trouble. We're having twice the fun here this <laughs> week. So long, everyone. <laughs> Have a great day.